What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new Ark Survival Evolved or Ascended series. We are here on the Astraos map, the brand new map that just came out not that long ago. It's free right now, it will become a premium mod soon, which means you would have to pay for it once it becomes a premium mod. But yeah, we are here right now and uh, we're going to... See what this world is all about. <clears throat> all right, we got Carithnos Southeast, Carithnos Southwest, Carithnos West, Northwest, and yeah. So this, ma this map is definitely incomplete. I would say it's about, I don't know, 20% um, done, I would say. The, the, the mod developer will definitely update this as time goes on. Now, this is created by... The same mod developer that gave us Ragnarok, Fjordr, and I believe Valgiro. I'm not 100% sure. And already I am loving this map. Aberration was cool and all, but it's so good to finally see the blue sky again. We already got a blue drop, but I don't think we're ready for any drops yet. So I have added in a few mods, like the auto-learning, which means Ingrams get automatically learned when you level up. And, uh, yeah, the game will probably lag a little bit just because I'm just loading in. And, wow, whoa, what the hell was that splashing? Let me just make sure I'm recording and that everything's fine. What is this? Now, this is a Greek-inspired map. You know, might as well start collecting some resources while we're here. Alright, we got some stone anyway. I think we can get some wood and some thatch from this. We don't even have to punch a tree. That's cool. Alright, let's get the stone pick if we can. Oh, and we got the Astreo Structure Skin. I'm gonna create that while we can. It's only one wood. Alright. Let's go ahead and... The pick... We just need a bit more thatch. Not a problem. Oh, we're getting some thatch. Alright, this is good. This is good. Alright, let's get the pick. Level up four times. And now those engrams should be automatically learned. Yep. This is good about that mod. We can automatically learn stuff. And I also added in a couple more mods as well. Like the stack mod, that's on here. And a few creature mods. And Let me just check this out. Oh, wow. This... Nectodus, you've really outdone yourself. You really have. I've only seen, like, 2% of the map, and I'm already in love with this. This is amazing. I could picture myself doing survival series on this map. I hear... I heard a compy, that's why I was running... All right, we got a pick, which should make getting the hatchet a little bit easier. All right, we can get rid of that. Let's get the hatchet. All right, there we go. Track. We just need a bit of thatch. Not a problem. We got compies after us. That's a Sephactinus right there. There's a Protoceratops. Those are passive tames. We could try and tame one. Just, like, so we can get around and whatever. Alright, let's get the hatchet. Let's see if we can get a, at least one spear. We need a bit of fiber and a bit of wood. Alright. Wood shouldn't be a problem because of the hatchet. Actually, let's keep track of the spear. Hold on. Spear. Oh my god. Compies. I don't have time for you right now. Well, better compies than pegos. I'll tell you that much. Compies, please. I'm trying to... I'm just trying to get some resources here. Oh, we need at least 36 fiber to get three spears. I have to constantly be on the move. Otherwise, the compies are going to rip me to shreds. Oh, we need six. All right. We've got enough for four. We've got enough for three spears. I like at least three spears. There's a Dillo that we could kill for hide. Ouch. 
Um, compies, I'll be with you in a minute. I guess we're fighting some compies because they won't leave me alone. Right, let me get my spears out. Bring it on! There goes my first spear right off the bat. Oh, you're still alive? Died, thank you. We can at least get some hide anyway. That's good. There's also a Dillo we can kill for hide. Oh, it's so good to finally be outdoors again. Instead of that underground place. What level is this Dillo? 55. Alright, well, we can take a 55 with no problem. There we go. We did it. We're getting hide up the wazoo here. Alright, so what else do we... We got 20 or 19 levels already. Oh, we got 200. Let's get the stamina up to 200, maybe. We'll get... We'll start getting the weight up. And then we'll start alternating between the two. Oh, hello. Carbon dummies. You're a 20, and you are a 95. So I think this will go like the center or like Ragnarok or whatever, where a lot of the creatures are high level. Like, that's a 135 dodo right there. Alright, let's see if we can make some clothes. You do have a baby. You know what? I'll kill you and take your baby. That's what I'll do. I should have berries in my inventory. I mean, I could punch you, but... This is just as easy. Baby Dodo, come here, buddy. Our first tame and it's a Dodo. Let's go. We got some berries anyway. You should grow up relatively fast. You're a swimmer. Hmm. Oh yeah, the aberration traits tend to stay on the uh, every every island. You're gonna be fully grown soon. Yep, you're fully grown now. Awesome. We got a dodo. Can't ride it, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Alright, let's let's take you out. Don't know what that is. That's an overraptor, I know that. Let me just save just in case the game decides it wants to crap the bed. I've only been in like what 5% of the map. Which in this case would be 25% because it's only 20% done. There's a Listro here, a couple of Listros. Here we go. Yeah, 145, and what are you? An 85. Yep, definitely the center levels. So it should be a lot easier to find high levels. So let's try to find a place to call home. For right now. I need to be right by the water. Must chops! <laughs> What do you want to eat? Giant bee honey. I don't have that. What level are you? 45. Not the worst, but not the best either. Now I'm sure once we go into more dangerous territory, we'll find like raptors and carnos and whatever. I'd like to see if we could tame a raptor at some point. Not in this series, but... Or, or in this episode, even. Yes, definitely in this series. I meant to say not in this episode. This area looks quite peaceful. We could start a base right here. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright. Mr. Dodo, you are a male. Alright, cool. Let me see if I can get some clothes anyway. Yeah, we need more fiber. Let's go get some more fiber. If that Moss Chops wanted, like, Mejo Berries and not Honey, then I would definitely, like, tame it, and then we could get Fiber for days. There's, like, a Moss Chops right there. I'm guessing we're gonna need more Fiber to make more stuff. Yeah, we're running out of Fiber real quick. Oh, we got some Pants, anyway. Some protection. Let me just continue gathering some Fiber, and then we'll build the base, and... And then maybe, I don't know, we'll tame, like, a Parasaur or something. Unless that Moss Chops changes its mind by the time 
by the time we're done building the base. So we should be good to go when it comes to that. How much fiber do we have now? 43. Can we at least make a shirt? A cloth shirt. One piece of clothing at a time. We could make some hide stuff if we wanted to, but I don't know how much hide we have. We have a good 47. Can we at least make a, a shirt? No, wait. I think we already made a shirt. Yeah, we did. I think we need 20 for the gloves. I don't really like cloth gloves. We'll just stick to this. This is good enough. This is good enough for right now. All right, now. Mr. Moss Chops. Oh, hello. What level are you? If you're a low level, I might take you. 45? Not bad. Do you have any Mejos? All right, we got 11. And I'll take the Tintos just in case we need them. All right. How many are you gonna need? 23%? Okay, you're gonna need five. I'm gonna keep track of this guy. We might have a protector anyway. I've never really played around with them on the center. The protoceratops. Another dodo. That's that's a 145. The one we have is a male. We can breed them up. Alright, you can have the Mejos or the Tintos. You're gonna grow up very fast. Oh, hello. More hide for me. Alright, follow me. Wait, no, wait. What am I doing? I can just pick you up. What am I doing? Alright, there's the moss chops. If you want mejos, I can easily feed you mejos. Honey. You still want honey, alright? I don't have honey at the moment. Uh, what level are you? Well, that's a 135. Yeah, this these are definitely center levels. Definitely. Might be going after the protoceratops. So we got two dodos. And what level is this dodo? That's a max level. Max level dodo. That's, that's pretty awesome. Alright, does that shaking head mean you're ready to be fed? Not ready yet. Alright. Wait, what's your trait? Meat carrier. Alright. Does that mean you carry meat more efficiently? I'm guessing that's what that means. We should probably keep some dodos for hide and whatever. How did you get all the way over there, Mr. Protoceratops? That's a 135 dodo over there. That's There's a max level over there. You still want giant bee honey. If you want mejos, let me know. Alright, let's focus on building a base. We got the proper tools. Might as well. I think that's a white drop. There's a drop over there. Okay, that was strange for the tree to do. It just dropped to the ground. It didn't even fall or anything. I want to make sure we have plenty of thatch, because with thatch structures, it's thatch that we mostly want. We also got the Greek cosmetic as well. Let me get some wood. Okay, that fell down normal. I think it's only some trees. Like, some of the trees in the center fall like they did in Evolved. You know how they just fall to the ground and then they disappear? Alright, I think we do need fiber as well. That moss chops would be perfect. If you just wanted medjo berries and not honey, then I could tame you. Alright, we've got 66 fiber. Let's go ahead and make some thatch stuff. We can make four of these. That'll be good for right now. And I'm going to put the dodos inside the base. So they don't get attacked by a dillo that comes near here. There's a trick that the axe man uses to make the foundations look a little lower. I forget how we do it, but... No, it's not this. It's not that. I think when we click it, we can scroll down. Oh no, we rotate the mouse down. We move the mouse down. Okay, alright. That's how you do it. Alright, I thought that was really cool, and it makes it more convenient. We don't have to build a ramp. Alright, so this will be good for right now. 
We could build our stuff on it. It's just a little bob shack. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll make like four more foundations. And it's fiber we need. It's always fiber. It's always fiber. I swear, in this game, fiber is a lot harder to come by. In Evolved, you could get fiber with no problem, but in this game, it's a grind. You're ready to be fed. Awesome. All right, now you should take feeds a lot quicker. And you still want honey. All right. The first feed usually takes a while. It's usually the second and third, fourth feed. That's when it gets, like, easy and quick. Uh, Mr. Moss Chops, are you sure you don't want a delicious Mejo Berry? Or maybe a Mejo or a Tinto? Because I can easily provide those for you. Let me just get some more fiber. For now, this is going to be very tricky to get fiber. On the island, I got really lucky and managed to get a really good sickle from a drop. Maybe I'll get lucky here. Because sometimes... These drops have really come in handy sometimes. Alright, you're ready to be fed again, which is awesome. Two more feeds and you should be good to go. You sure you're not interested in a medjo? You still set on honey, huh? Alright. Have it your way. If you had a one in front of you, that would have been great, but... You probably would have taken a lot longer to tame. Alright, I'll be back. I need to go put these walls away. Well, why don't we make some windows? We can make some windows. We don't we don't need to make all of them windows. Just so we can see through. Alright, we need two more walls. And what are we short on? Thatch and wood. Alright. That's a shocker. Usually it's fiber. Alright, you must be ready for another feed by now. Yep, you are. One more and we'll be good to go. Huh, it looks like you're very excited to be mine. Because you're wandering around my base now. Alright, you're not ready yet, so... Alright, we just need four more ceilings. And what are we short on? We are running low on fiber, but it is thatch we're low on. Do we have enough for four more ceilings? Do we at least have enough fiber for four more ceilings? Or am I going to have to get some more? Okay, we are like two fiber short. Might as well get the two extra fiber. There we go. Alright, now we can make four ceilings. There we go. So this will be, like, good for right now. Anyway. Until we move out and get a bigger base, anyway. Yeah, this will be good for now. You know what we do need? A door. We can make a reinforced door if we wanted to. Should we? Mm. You know what, screw it. A door's a door. A door is a door. Actually, that doesn't fit too bad. That's actually pretty cool, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the cosmetic. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, we got three variants. We're gonna have to look at every single one. Okay, that's the first variant. That kind of looks nice. Second variant. Oh, that's just... That's cool. And then the third variant. Ooh, I like that. You know, I think I'll stick with the first one for that one. The windows look pretty small, actually. Yo, I like this. This looks cool. Um, okay. Do we have the resources for a bed, anyway? Need a bit more thatch and a bit more fiber. Hopefully with this protoceratops, we'll be able to get a lot more of that. And if this moss chops could want a medjo berry, then that'd be great. And there we have it. Protoceratops has been tamed. Awesome. Won't be able to ride it till we get a saddle, but it's something. Alright. Giant bee honey. You're still sticking to your guns with honey, huh? Alright. At least you're fast. You can keep up pretty easily. And that's what the outside looks like. It kind of looks nice, actually. Alright, we got a Protoceratops anyway. That could make gathering berries a lot easier. You know, why don't we track the Protoceratops saddle while we're here? What's this? Ca oh, Caprasuchus. That's what that is. 
Alright, let's see if we can get some more hide. Sorry, buddy. I need your hide. Oh, you're still alive? You survived two hits like a champ. Good for you. I just need a couple more hide. We should have enough hide for both the bed and the saddle. It only needs 120. And then we need another 40, so if we get 160 hide, then we'll have enough for both. And there goes my pick. We need, or my hatchet. We need more flint. Alright, there's gotta be something else here I could kill. There's gotta be something else here. There's another dodo. Awesome. We got 130, we just need 30 more hide, and then we'll have enough for both the bed and the saddle. Oh, we are one hide shy of having enough. One hide shy. Uh, Alright, let's go kill one more thing. Have you changed your mind yet, Mr. Moss Chops? You have not. Okay. Oh, you're a pretty parasaur. All purple. What level are you? 135. Okay, yep. Definitely center levels. Oh, hello, Dilla. I'll get rid of you real quick. You had a baby. Should I tame you so we can at least have... You know, we'll, we'll claim you. We got some meat. Let's get some of that meat going. Alright, Dillo, follow me back home. So we got a Dillo, we got a Protoceratops, we've got a couple of Dodos. You know, things are going great. Let me equip the saddle onto you. There we go. Will you want an imprint for it? Okay, 15 seconds and you'll want an imprint. Please be a cuddle. Or like a medjo berry or something. Or a walk. Meat jerky, I don't have that. And you're fully grown. Awesome. We got a dillo anyway for protection purposes. And now we've got this protoceratops. Which we can use. Oh yeah, you gather fruit from trees. I forgot about that. That's a beautiful Dilophosaur. Wait, what level are you? 100. You are a beautiful Dilophosaur, though. What level is this Protoceratops? 60, alright. I think you are a male as well. And you're the 135 Parasaur. I kind of want to keep you alive. Alright. We got some stuff going. We got a Protoceratops. We got whatever else. Let's see if we could get some uh, a Mortar and Pestle. Let me at least get a Mortar and Pestle going. We just need a bit of stone, which isn't a problem for us. Alrighty. We are making progress. I like that. I like when we make progress. Let's disable snapping. Actually, the Mortar and Pestle kind of fits this theme. It kind of fits the Greek theme. A lot of this stuff fits the Greek vibe. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we got the bed. I think the only thing we have left now is a storage box. I want a large one. We need more of everything, basically. You don't gather wood, do you? I don't think you do. But you're definitely a berry gatherer for sure. Let's see. Storage box. We got 35 levels, I just realized. Let's get that to 500. Get that to 500. Maybe get the fortitude up to, say, 60? So, of course, we need room for the smithy and the refining forge. And I would say this was a pretty big day, or a pretty good day. Let me get some health onto you. Dillo, you want to follow me over to here? So you can have the whole height advantage and whatever. Alright, so let me think of some names for our, for our guys. We, for our Protoceratops, I guess I could name you Runt. 
Because you kind of look like a runt. Yeah, that, that totally fits you. And we got a Dilophosaur. I'm guessing we could name you... Kratos, because why not? We'll name you Kratos for right now. And then for the Dodos, we got a male and a female. The male we could name... I don't know. Pennywise, because you kind of got that makeup clown look. And then for you, you could be... KFD, Kentucky Fried Dodo. If you remember that reference from Star Snipe, if you watch Star Snipe's videos from back in the day when he used to play Ark. And this was like 2015. Ark was still in early access back then. Yeah, that's... That's where the reference came from, Kentucky Fried Dodo. If I find that max level, I might tame it. I don't see it. I'm guessing that... I'm guessing Kratos might have killed it. I don't know. But yeah, today was a successful day. We got two Dodos, a Dillo, and a Protoceratops. But yeah, with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for Episode 1. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.